guys, uh, my name is Khan and in this video I'm going to show you guys that how we can use data uh, more efficiently when it comes to uh, dealing with uh, large data sets in data. So for this video I have created some hypothetical data sets so you can see uh, so there are two data sets here I think they are both one is in the .dtf file format which is like 2.3 GB size file size and then one csv file which is around 2.5 gb so my computer hard like ram is around 8 gb uh, and if like I, I like to upload these data set directly into stata it will take easily three four minutes to load this data and if i do any command in data over these data set it will take reasonably a good amount of time so how can you uh, reduce that time when it comes to dealing with data and making your do file so I have created a uh, do file for you guys so normally when we call uh, .dta dataset in stata we write this command so if I run this command in stata it will easily take I have already run it and I know it takes four to five minutes so but in order to reduce that time so what I start doing is that when it comes to if I am writing a do file over large data set so instead of loading the full data uh, I initially run the data uh, run the do file on a smaller section so on this command uh, if you write like use if underscore n which underscore n means that number of rows if the number of, uh, of rows so trying to say that upload the first 5000 rows of this data set so by doing this you will be able to run the do file more quickly and you can keep on testing your code on a smaller section of your uh, of the large data set so once you are done with your full do file then you can run uh, your do file on the complete data set in the end and you will not be wasting uh, much of the time uh, while writing uh, the do file on a larger data set so now if I run this so it will take probably I can show you here more probably more than five six seconds so you can see that it's loading but even it, it, because it have large, large number of uh, variables but it will not take five minutes it will probably run more quickly on a smaller number of rows so I think hopefully in uh, second four five second this uh, this do file this yes you can see that uh, stata able to upload uh, this data set for 5000 rows uh, again uh, if, if i try to run this uh, do file on the complete data set it probably have taken more than four five minutes just to load the data set the other thing is that you can further make your do file make uh, this loading the data set more quicker if you also mention the variable names which which you want to use in your do file and don't load all the variables so you, you can also do that by mentioning the variable names here before the if condition so if you do that it will probably take more uh, if you're able to upload the data more quickly in the same way when it comes to csv file you can do the same trick of not loading the full data set and um, while writing the do file uh, just load a very small section of the data set so that you can keep some testing your do file that is it running on the data set on the smaller section of the data set uh, or not so once you are happy with the do file you can run it on the larger section so for csv file the normal command is this one import delimited but uh, if you want to load just the few rows like i want to uh, load only the csv file from row number one to five thousand and i will be uh, this will be the command you can use the row range command in the same way in the csv file you can make this thing more efficient if you just also mention the variable names that you are going to use and instead of loading the whole all the that all the variables which you are not even using in your uh, do file so this is a quick way of I thought to share with you guys that how to you how to use uh, 
how to make things, how to work with Instata when it comes to large data sets. Thank you for watching the video.